Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners with Jim Ashura. Today we're going to tie a very effective and very simple nymph fly. This is the Teeny Nymph. Jim Teeny uh, originated or designed this fly and I believe he designed this fly for steelhead in the western US. We're going to start. I have a size 14. This is a two extra long nymph hook. You can tie them on standard nymph hooks. You could tie them bigger. You could tie them from say a size 4 down to a size 18 or 20 if you'd like. I'm going to start off by putting some 20 thousandths lead free wire on there. You can also tie this with a bead on there. And we're going to put about 10 wraps on. Two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Go ahead and break that off. And you could uh, vary the amount of lead wraps you put on depending on the water, the current, how fast the water is moving, how deep you want it to go. Go ahead and remove that excess. Put that, push them together. And I'm going to use a black thread. You can use a tan thread, it, it matches better to the pheasant tail. But I like this 12 aught thread. I'm going to start that thread behind the eye. I'm going to push those lead wraps forward there a little bit. I want those lead wraps from to to start at about the point of the hook. When we get to the lead wraps, I'm going to wrap that around my finger. I'm going to hold that those lead wraps and then get that thread up on top of the lead wraps and that'll save the save you from just pushing the lead wraps back with the thread put several wraps in back and now you want to kind of build a little bit of a ramp there but bring it back to about where the barb would be or the end of the flat spot where it starts to bend get rid of that excess and just build a little bit of a ramp and try to make a little bit of a ramp in the front too just so you don't have that big step first thing I'm going to put on is the rib and for the rib I have a this is a very fine copper wire you don't want to put a real thick copper wire on there, but you know, regular regular size copper wire is fine. Depending on how much you want that wire to be seen. If you want the wire to be seen more, you put a little heavier one on. But I like the very fine copper wire because the main purpose of the copper wire is to protect the fly from the teeth of the trout. Now the body of the the whole fly is made with pheasant tail center. We're going to take 6, 8, 10, just a small amount. We want that tail to be about one half to three quarter the length of the hook shank. Then we're going to take that and fold it back. If you want, if your hackle or your, or your pheasant tail is long enough, you can go ahead and take that up to the uh, lead wraps and then come back and that'll kind of help fill in that gap there. Then we're going to bring the thread back forward.
Now I'm going to take probably twice as much as I did for the tail. We're going to pull that off. Now these are going to be the legs, so we're going to tie them in pointing forward. And we want them to be about probably the length of the hook. Because we're going to tie them in, then we're going to fold them back, so you're going to lose a little bit more. You want to keep them about one eye length from the eye of the hook. And then we're going to wrap them all the way back. And now depending on how fat you want this body, we're going to remove some of the pheasant tail fibers here. So I'm going to remove about half of the front section. I'm going to make sure that I trim them really close. And bring our thread back to the front. Now we take my hackle pliers and we're going to put them on that pheasant tail and we're going to wind them forward. Twist them and probably every wrap you have to give it a twist, maybe every two wraps. bring them up nice and close. I'm going to tie them off. And we're going to remove that excess, take those hackle pliers out of the way. Push that thread away with your finger. And trim that. Now I'm going to take that copper wire and we're going to counter wrap that being the opposite direction we wrap the pheasant tail. We're going to palmer that forward. That first one wants to stay down the bottom there that's all right. We get up to the head and we're going to tie that off. Then with this extra fine wire I can just break it off. Put a couple of wraps there. Now I'm going to push on this and kind of get them separated there a little bit. You can see them flaring out and take half to each side, about half to each side. There we go. We want to get those down the bottom. So I'm holding them on the side and we want them on the side or to the bottom. And you want them to be about part way into the bend of the hook. We're going to wrap that head. And now on this particular fly, the head is looking good. Maybe a couple little spots there at the front. But if you find yourself, if you find that you you went back a little bit too far, just take a little bit of dubbing that would match the color of the uh, pheasant tail. Here is, I have some uh, Hendrickson that matches the color. Make a little bit of a noodle, 
and especially with the if you put a bead on here by the way if you put a bead on it makes the making the legs a lot easier so you just give it a couple of wraps to kind of get change that color there take our whip finish that trim that thread put a little bit of head cement on there put it right on that dubbing even that's going to suck it right in get it on the thread and go around That's going to dry a little bit lighter. But here we have a teeny nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. Please visit my sponsors. If you'd like to purchase any of these flies or any flies that I make, please visit my Etsy page. That is Etsy dot com slash shop slash the flyman gym and most of all i thank you very much for watching my videos